We have just picked up our very first, would you believe it or not, afternoon tea for two for Adrian and myself. We couldn't have that in Bath because Ivy Brasserie, for example, where I had my first one on my own last year, isn't doing them at this time um, when, you know, uh, coronavirus is still around. Now, this place, Essington Farm, is my favorite place where to shop now. And I started shopping more locally, even before the whole lockdown and coronavirus situation. But now even more so, I think this whole situation and the context created by the coronavirus made me think more about protecting the environment, you know, less um, transport, because th these are local producers that Essington Farm is selling produce from. Also, their meats are really, really good. And you know that recently what happened with the whole trade deal with uh, the US, apparently the UK is open to importing chlorinated chicken and all sorts of like not really good meats, which supermarkets said they won't do. But still, Essington Farm, they grow their own livestock, they have their own meats. So this is a lot of a better source for healthy meats and also local vegetables and all of that. Plus, in such situations where economy is struck by a virus or whatever is happening around, I find it very important to support local businesses rather than mammoths that, you know, you don't always know how ethically they work as well. So this is it. This is Essington Farm, a place that I absolutely love where we picked up our afternoon tea for two and we're going to go home and have a very, very special presentation and little event for the two of us now. afternoon tea for two picked up at Essington Farm and we have set up the table in the conservatory. Now it's time for Adrian and I to get ready for this lovely meal we're gonna have together. And I have something that came through the post recently that Adrian ordered for me just before the coronavirus situation hit the UK. It was sometime at the beginning of March at Lulu's Vintage Fair in Birmingham we went there with two friends who are also into all of these like retro vintage jewelry and clothing and all. And uh, this is an Alice in Wonderland dress that Adrian ordered for me there. But it only arrived recently because obviously the lady who makes these dresses, she was a little bit in difficulty of getting the fabric that she needs because everything was affected by the whole lockdown situation. So I am going to open this dress now. I will wear it for the afternoon tea and let's see how it looks. Of course I've got petticoats here as well because it is a retro dress. There it is. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, the, that's the name of... Uh, the little business that this lady has, Button Tin Retro. Is that correct, Adrian? I can't see. Oh God, he's too far. Never mind. But that's what I read. <laughs> oh, so exciting. I shall pass the camera on to Adrian because he pe can pen over me so we can see it properly. <laughs> I 
Okay, and also at the fair, Adrian ordered this uh, lovely belt for me. I love belts and all sorts of accessories like that. And this is the right width and everything to fit that dress, which I am now going to put on and we'll see how it all fits. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It does fit. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> what about? I love it. And the petticoat underneath. <laughs> Let's see how this oh it's actually quite easy. Goes on quite quite nicely. Like that. Oh it's absolutely lovely. What do you think, Adrian? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I've got to just put some jewellery on and I'm going to do my hair in a quite special way. And this is it, my afternoon tea, like a little bit of a fairy tale. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there they are, the savoury bits. And the sweet beads. There it is, and we are ready to eat all of these lovely sandwiches and cakes and everything shopped locally, including the dress. Because the lady who makes these dresses, she is English, she is local, so there it is. <laughs> it all ties up with what this vlog is about. A bit of fun, but a bit of serious things as well. Adrian has dressed up for the occasion too, but he's gonna just cook in that jacket. So he is going to take it off to enjoy his meal. <laughs> A little bit of more entertainment as well. <laughs> Woo! A few days have now passed since our Alice in Wonderland themed afternoon tea for two that we picked up from Essington Farm. And now it's Saturday and we plan to take you with us to another local business that we really, really love. It is our favourite cafe, our favourite local tea rooms here in Wolverhampton in Tetnell. It is called Vanilla Tea Rooms and we absolutely love that place. It's our favorite cafe where we go for a late brunch when we have a little bit of a late start. But before we set off, and I will tell you a little bit more about this place on our way there in the car, I wanted to explain why we picked up the afternoon tea for two from Essington Farm and why we didn't eat it there. Essington Farm does have a cafe that they've closed since the coronavirus situation happened while they expanded the space for the actual vegetable and uh, butchery and the shop that they've got there, the farm shop. They've extended all of the vegetable side to where the cafe space is and in this way they have increased the distance between stalls and everything so 
that people can keep social distancing and they can do shopping in a safer environment. And I thought that was very sensible of them to start doing afternoon tea for two for pickup rather than opening the cafe just yet. People will still go shopping at the farm shop and then why not just pick a treat to have and enjoy at home like we did. Now let's go and enjoy today's brunch at Vanilla Tea Rooms. the second local place that I wanted to show you in this vlog, Vanilla Tea Rooms or Vanilla Cafe in Tetnal. We absolutely love this place and bring all our friends around, particularly after like a board game party that extends all the way to 4 or 5 a.m. <laughs> and the next day obviously we wake up pretty late and then we are all famished and just drive over here. I know the lady who owns this place and she's a really lovely person. She's a very good baker as well. The staff here are um, regularly the same staff. They are very nice as well. Besides the wish to support local businesses, it's just a place where we feel a little bit like home. Our tea room home as well. Well, cakes have arrived obviously and I think this is the most indulging moment of the whole week. Uh, I am going to make sure I'm going to do my workout as well after this. Here we are back home now for an afternoon of tidying up because last weekend, as you know, we were away to celebrate our fourth year anniversary in the beautiful city of Bath. So now we've got to catch up a little bit on housework as well. I hope you enjoyed discovering these two local businesses with us, even if you're not from around Wolverhampton. But the whole idea is that you can discover such places around to where you live. In countries such as Romania, which is my home country, we have local markets, we have a vegetable market, even in big cities around every neighborhood, around, you know, every side of, a, of the city. And that replaces like the farm shop, but we have also local butcheries. You will find cake shops everywhere. So I think the idea stands that this coronavirus situation maybe makes us rethink that we can support local businesses more. People whom we actually know that run these businesses, whom we can meet in person and we can get a more direct impression of. I do hope you enjoyed this vlog as well and if you did remember to give me thumbs up it does help if you show that you enjoyed it it's not only for my pride and all of that it's also because other people will start seeing my content more so if you appreciate it remember to subscribe and like and why not leave me any thoughts that you have around Anything I talked about in this vlog, just leave them in the comment section. Today, I have also filmed for the big documentary project, Life in a Day, that is run by YouTube and Ridley Scott and a couple of other big names in the industry, in the film industry. I think these type of documentaries are very important. Now we have all the digital technology to record and to keep these instances of the world that we live in that show different perspectives, that show life 
in its different aspects. And that is why I am participating in uh, that project as well. But to round up this vlog, I will just say ciao for now and yeah, remember to subscribe to my channel too. See you next time then.